One of the biggest challenges we face is when a student finishes their work on an iPad and we really want for them to share it, hence the use of Google Drive. So I'm going to show you a few things that I absolutely love about the updates that have happened at Google Drive. So I'm going to open up my Google Drive and off to the side you can see where it says uploads. And this is where I can upload different things. So I hit the plus over here and I can upload a photo or video that has been saved to my photo album. So my students have just finished a movie and I want to upload it to their Google Drive instead of using YouTube for example and so forth. So all I do is click on whatever videos I want uploaded and then I hit upload. And now it can be shared on any device that has Google Drive. So that means that I can share it on my computer, I could share it on another iPad, and so forth. In addition to being able to move m movies, I can also move pictures, photo collages, anything that has been saved to the photo roll. So for example, this was a picture of an activity that they did, or maybe it was something that they did on pic collage or so forth. But now, instead of emailing it or finding another program in order to get it off of the iPad into a different location to share in a bigger format, I now can use Google Drive to not only move videos but also photos. And then I can see that on my computer. So I'm going to back out of this real quick and show you how it will show up in my Google Drive. So earlier I wanted to share a video that I had done on my iPad. And normally I have to plug it in, it's a lot of work. Now I can get it in through Google Drive. So now the video will show up, but what's even more wonderful, besides the video showing up, I can click on share and I can choose who I want to share this video with. So I could send it to parents, I could send it to friends. Um, it's just another way that's much more private than YouTube to be sharing student creations on the iPads.